Good morning everybody. What we're going to do this morning, we're going to make a 8 by 8 or 20 by 20 centimetres infinity mirror. So what we're going to need, it's a budget price. This is all less than £20. That's around about, what, $30, something like that. So we're starting off with a display frame. This one was purchased at the company Wilkinson's for £4. These with £3, just over £3, 12 pence to be precise, delivered about five dollars then we would require a controller for the leds the led controller there we go again all the way from hong kong i believe that one was for two pounds it's actually a bit difficult because um you can buy it in various lengths but you can buy 50 centimeters by a meter anywhere between five pound and three pounds now i've actually got a six mil mirror here but you can buy a three mil um on the internet eight inches by eight inches and that's three pounds okay we've opened the frame so we've got the outside of the frame the main piece the glass which we'll come to we'll, we'll be using that a little bit later the spacer that's the most important bit the leds that i actually purchased were in this waterproof sleeve now the only reason i got them in that was because there was on special offer um there is other versions these are 12 volt versions and all i've done basically is taken taken out the waterproof casing the controller what we do we remove the case around the controller now this is so it will fit inside the frame just take it off cut it off like so so then we now have the controller okay let's get down to testing these um LEDs to make sure that they are working okay. So connect the controller, red to red, green, etc. So that's correct. So that now we need a 12 volt power supply. We have one here, plug that in. Okay, so we've got red LEDs. Pressing the red gives us green. Pressing the green gives us blue. And pressing the blue gives us red. Right, so it's wrong off auto now we press the blue button and if you watch the red group they will, should change right the red red no, not red at first so red green blue let's switch off red yes green yes blue okay that's set up so that's ready to go a spacer and LEDs. The 12 volt LEDs happen to fit well perfect into this spacer. Measure four four groups one two three four fold it then four again four again Put that out. cut just before I drill this I thought I'd just show you I'll just put a piece of tape on the side and um, the reason being just to support the joint it's quite thin wood so uh, once I start drilling and sawing it okay we've got a four mil drill bit just gonna put it through probably three times maybe twice done with four mil and a bit of one through the middle Jesus. Oh, there we go Cut myself a hole for me wires. Okay, about the middle, somewhere there. Something like that. A little bit of extra space. Make sure we've got a little wiggle, wiggle room, as my old boss used to say. Give it some wiggle room. That nicely cut out, which uh, should fit a treat. Put that in there and on the flat surface we'll put some either hot glue double-sided tape is whether or not i've got enough room in the frame to run that cable so uh, let's have a look at that we've got the spacer and we now have the frame frame pop that in and as you can see here we've got loads of room for 2.1 mounts it will go through on that bit well what I'm going to do I've already decided I'm going to use 
well we call it evo stick in the uk impact glue i think in the states they call it barge i'm going to have to do a bit of soldering first prepare That's the main power supply. Just measure up how much of this cable we're going to want to go through. So pop that off there. The wires that's been put through. at the top. Okay. Okay, we've we've got it soldered, but it's not the best soldering job I've ever done. Just putting the last bit uh didn't want the other been better if I'd use my brush. So we've got all Evo stick contact glue, whatever you want to call it. Right, so that's all that. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the back of the LEDs. I've put plenty in the corners because what I would like to do is make sure the corners are stuck. Corners. Get the corners in. Right. Went better than I thought it was going to. So, corner right in there. Yeah. That's the. I didn't put any glue onto this part. I wanted to see where it came, whether I needed a piece of tape. And just on that bit there where it's just overlapping, look just in that corner. I think it just needs a little bit of tape or something just to separate it. Okay. Bit of tape on the corners. Right, spacer, done. Right, I'm recording this because I've made a fundamental mistake. I've decided that um, my wires were wrong. Again, looks like, oh, green, blue. Am I a lucky boy or what? Or all the way up. Bit of tape. Right into the corner. Just going to use these pads. Take off the top. Bring that back round. Now I'm going to check these three wires in piece and what I may do is just slide it in between the two of them. So just a couple of little bits. Sometimes having big hands and little jobs really don't work does it? Anyway. Right, I'm going to inspect that now with a uh, magnifying glasses to make sure. Make sure I did, and it's fine. So now, I suppose we give it another test. Put that in there, that goes in there. Pull them out. Put my power supply. Red, green, blue. It's coming together, isn't it? 
the bit, this bit, I don't particularly like, to be honest. Yep. Cleaning the mirror. Straightforward car screen wash for, the, for a start. Wolf it off. Not worried that it's gone wet underneath. So that's that bit. Basic washing up liquid in uh, water. I'm going to do it I'd literally. We got it. Right. Cut it down to size, he says. There we go. on the film side inside back to that it should go in there but that's the wrong way but anyway something like that with helping hands and everything else and then Julian Eilert if you're into electronics and stuff he's a man you know Okay, we've got these soldered on there. We've also laid them fairly flat, as you can probably see now. There we go. Glass is in. So at the back, push there. <laughs> Could use a bit of blue tack on this, couldn't I? There we go. A little bit of blue tack to hold her down. Oh, wonderful. Not the last mirror. That way, so I'll probably end up going back into it. Plugged in. Power. Did it go bang? No, that's always good. Remote control. Red. Green. Blue. reshape the mirror and we're doing that hot air gun it's down to personal preference this bit I just oh, I'll show you when we're done okay turned it over fit it in as you can see it's already bent it needs to go in it needs to go in quick right got that one got that one there we go Right, just bend them over a little bit. Give us, give us some bolts. By putting a bit of heat on the mirror, and everyone is different, that's the beauty of it. it. Just makes it all a bit of a twist. Can't do that with glass, can with acrylic. And I think you'll say, that's one very effective mirror for less than £20, $30, and basically four or five hours in the garage. Quicker probably if you could solder it right. Ha! Enjoy. <laughs>